I'd describe Hartman as enthusiastic. Passion is, is the word that I would put to him most. For me, Harry Hopman's a legend. 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 He started at the age of 12 playing tennis himself. At age 16, Harry Hopman won his first junior boys title. For the tournament prize, he was given a shaving kit. You can imagine it took him some while to use that shaving kit. From the very beginning, not only was he an extremely accomplished player himself, in fact, he'd won a total of seven major championships. And he took what he knew and passed it on to those players who were willing to embrace his management style of tennis. Hartman actually started teaching at Kuyong after his playing career. He had a whole stable of players who read like the who's who of tennis. You've completed Brisbane practice. You're just about ready to go. How are the boys? Laver's uh, done well and so has Emerson. We had so many legendary guys. You look at a guy like Rod Laver, who was a part of that team for so long, who's you know, won the, the Grand Slam in tennis, all four you know, Grand Slams in one year. When I started working for the academy, I was impressed with the, the amount of players It was coming to the academy. ATP, WTA, it was packed. They want to learn from Mr. Homer. All of these players knew that under his umbrella, that they could, in fact, attain greatness, which is what happened. When he's in the tennis court, so much respect, the intensity. So everybody start playing at a different level. When you went on court with Mr. Hopman, it was almost as if the world stood still for a second. Hopman was an absolute fanatic for fitness. That's what changed the face of tennis, and that's where his thumbprint actually lies. He used to have pinpoint accuracy that even to this day astounds me. When I used to watch players such as Vetus Gerolaitis, Paul McNamee, the great Pat Cash, the list goes on how they would die for every ball. And he never gave the ball to the players. He would quickly throw up a lob, then a wide volley and say, move quicker lad, and you dared not even take a breath, let alone a sip of water, because you were with the Jedi of tennis. Harry Hartman actually captained the Australian Davis Cup team 22 times, of which they won the title 16 times, which is unparalleled in history. Probably really put tennis as a sport on the map in Australia and worldwide. He really provided a, a learning tool for a lot of coaches. I owe everything to Mr. Hartman. He was there every day. The day that he passed, he was on the court next to me all day long. The guy never stopped. Mr. Hartman told me once, if you can give and it's in your heart, then you know you've done your job and the passion you live for.